You're watching Southland Softball on ESPN. Welcome to the Bearcat Softball Complex for today's matchup featuring the number 24 ranked Baylor Bears and the Sam Houston Bearcats. Jordan Smith here taking a look at both of these teams as Baylor coming off a walk-off win against the University of Houston, a 2-1 finale. Meanwhile, for Sam Houston, they are coming off a series sweep this past weekend against fellow Southland Conference opponent in McNeese. Taking a look at our HB No Player Does More Impact player, for Baylor, they're going to look to senior utility hitter Goose McGlown. You see there the season highs for McGlown. Three hits, two doubles, two home runs, three RBIs, and two stolen bases. All of these in a single game. So definitely someone to watch for in this matchup as well. As for the Bearcats, freshman infielder Ellie Grill. You see their season high, three hits, one double. Does not have a home run yet on the season, but does have a bit of pop on her bat as well as two RBIs and two stolen bases in a single game. So definitely someone to watch for. Christine Billmeyer back in the circle for Sam Houston. Two and two-thirds innings of works, two hits, no earned run, no walks, no strikeouts, and nine batters face coming into the inning with 36 pitches on the day as that one will be ruled a foul. Owen won the count here. 2-3-4 due up for Baylor in this top of the seventh inning. Madison Kettler at the plate right now. Three for three on the day. Two singles and a double. That one high ball one. Kettler came around to score in the first. Got an RBI double in the second. And got a two RBI single in the fourth so she is responsible for, responsible for four of the seven runs for Baylor in the game as that one pops right behind home plate. And Schaefer, great awareness, makes the catch for out number one. Definitely not an easy play for Schaefer to make. She had to rip off the mask right quick. The ball did not travel that far into the air right above her. So a good, quick reaction there from Schaefer as the first pitch swing and a miss, a very hard swing for strike one. McGlawn won for three in the game. Her only hit coming off of the two-run homer over the left field wall back in the first. As that one is low and outside, one and one. Nobody on base, one out here. Nobody has scored a run since the top of the fourth where Baylor got three. Other than that, nobody scored a run since the second inning alone where each team had one run. As that one missing the zone, according to Craig Elmore. Two and one the count here. To one outside. Three and one the count here for McLaughlin. And that one outside. Rested to this may of some of the Bearcat faithful. Either way, a runner on first now in McLaughlin. She's now on for the second time tonight, this time via a walk. As Zadie LaValle will head to the plate, runner on first, one out. Still a four-run lead for Baylor in this one. First pitch swing and a miss. Getting her with a low motion pitch there. Owen won the count. Valley one for two in the ball game. Got on base with a walk her first time up. Flew out to right field in the third. And then got on base with a single in the fifth. This one's dribbled to the right side. The second for one. No throw to first. They get the lead runner. Fielder's choice there. As Melia threw it on over to Telg to get the lead runner and out number two. 
Benford coming into the ball game. Today's starter for Baylor. Got replaced and moved to shortstop. As that one missing the zone, ball one. Benford one for three in the ball game at the plate. Right now, runner on first in LaValle, and that's it. With two outs here in the top of the seventh. 1-0 in there for a strike. Benford's only hit on the day, that being a RBI double back in the first, contributing one of the three runs for Baylor to start off the ball game. And that one missing the zone, just barely on the bottom part. 2-1 the count. Taking her time is Bill Meyer. That one, a line drive that's bounced off of the glove of the third baseman and Kutach. They will call that one foul. Two and two the count here. Two outs run around first, top of the seventh. Four-run lead for Baylor. They're looking to keep the inning going here. Barring a miracle in the bottom of the seventh, this could be the final time they hit at the plate tonight. The 2-2, and that one high, full count. Three, two, that one swung on. High fly ball down the right field line. And that one will go into the Baylor bullpen. So we'll keep it full. Full count once again to Benford. Two, that one chopped to the left side, just past Telg. And there's a two-out single to move the runner in scoring position and keep the inning going. Valley now at second base. And Benford standing at first. As that will bring up Alyssa Avalos. Over for 2 in the ballgame. Still looking for her first hit. And I believe we're going to have a substitution here. And actually, it'll be a pinch hitter. It'll be Hannah Thompson, the junior catcher, pinch hitting for Alyssa Avalos. Two outs and two on here in the top of the seventh. That hit by Benford is Baylor's ninth hit on the night. Is that one missing? 1-0. and Hannah Thompson comes into this game a 250 hitter on the season. This is her 11th appearance on the year. Is that one outside? 2-0. OPS is 641 with three hits, one of those being a double and five RBIs on the year for her. That one swung on a line drive right to Telg. Throw to first, doesn't matter, it's a line drive catch. So a double confirmation for out number three. We head to the bottom of the seventh. It's rally time for the Bearcats. They're down by four when we come back here on ESPN+. Plus. 